Hey guys, it's Jen and I'm here with another layout for Pink Paisley. Today um, I'm going to be creating a layout with pastels. That's what we're talking about on the blog today. So what I did, and maybe this is crazy for some of you or maybe you do this too, but I went through all of my Pink Paisley products and pulled out all the pastel things. So I have a bunch of stickers on these two pieces of wax paper. And just like, look at this combination. I just think it's so pretty. So I'm, I wanna use a bunch of these. And I also went through some of the die cuts as well. Um, and I have some wood pieces. Just everything that was kind of uh, lightly colored, I pulled it out. I also pulled out this paper because I thought I could use strips of this. If I wanted to create something with that, so that's something I'm thinking about. And then this is left over from another page I created, but I'm going to go ahead and maybe use it on this one. And then the other papers I pulled out are just some lightly colored ones. Again, this one I might just pull out a few pieces of that. This one is from Confetti Wishes, and it, it is completely pastel. It's got the the months of the year, so I thought that was fun. So I might end up using that as, as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put you on fast forward, and let's play around with pastels. All right, so first of all, I kind of really like the way that these two papers fit together. They're almost the same color, but the circle's a little bit darker, and I almost always go for a white background, so I thought it would be nice to switch things up this time and go with this kind of peachy color. So the first thing I'm gonna do is mount my photos on some white cardstock because I'm going to overlap them a little bit, and I just like the definition of the white edge uh, when I do that kind of thing. And I'm just using my little swing line guillotine trimmer. I got that at Office Depot or something like that, just an office supply store. And I like that for trimming down photo mats. Um, so now I'm gonna kind of play around with how I want to arrange this, how much of the circle do I want on the page, that kind of thing. And I'm thinking already about the title. So what my title is going to be is My Heart Rocks. And it's kind of a double meaning here um, because I have rocks shaped like hearts in the in the photos but also um, kind of implies that my heart is awesome and in the journaling I kind of talk about that too how um, we started collecting these little rocks and none of them are perfect but uh, neither are none of our hearts perfect and that doesn't make them any less beautiful so that was my sappy little reason I'm I am a <laughs> I'm a sappy person by heart by by heart by nature so anyway so now I'm kind of thinking about what else can I add to this I liked those two uh, stripes that I cut off the patterned paper from the I think it was from the take me away no turn the page collection maybe um, and so now I'm cutting out some of the other pieces this was in April and the April little uh, calendar part of that that paper from Confetti Wishes happened to be peach as well. So I just cut out that one calendar and I'm gonna place it behind my photo. And now I'm gonna cut this paper down, which is also from Confetti Wishes. And I'm cutting out the stripes that are more pastel colored. And those look so pretty. I love that combination there with the kind of melon and peach, that light purple and just the aqua. And so I'm kind of trying to think about how I want to arrange this and I, I'm kind of thinking now that I'm going to have this half circle and then a little bit coming out from the left of it. So I don't know if you watched my last Pink Paisley video, but I did a very similar design concept and um, where I do sort of things on the vertical on one side and then stuff jutting out from the other. And it's just an L-shaped design. And it may be out by now, but I have a class talking about all of my go-to designs and how you can make them look different from one another, but still uh, have something to go to each and every time that you create. So you're not just wondering, you know, what should I do? So I pulled out the six by six paper pad at the Confetti Wishes collection to see if I wanted to use another one of those little calendars. And I'm just flipping through the papers to see if there's anything else I might want. And so what I'm gonna do now is kind of build up some layers around the photos. Actually, maybe I'm going to place these stripes first. Um, I decide to cut off a piece of that because only a little bit of it's going to show. And so I don't, then I can use the other half for another layout if I wanted to. And then I only use about half of this circle. So this paper will last me for three layouts if I, if I do that. Um, because I used first the outside 
like the frame that the circle was an open frame in the center of my layout and then I've used the half or a little bit more than half a circle now and then I could do another layout with the remaining piece so I like when things can extend like that so here I am going to go ahead and place down these stripes and I decide to go ahead and have I, I was trying to decide which side I wanted the aqua paper to go on and I decided to put it on the bottom since it's on since the whole top strip there uh, from the other paper is aqua and then I decide to also make this look like it's a banner shape so I just uh, dovetailed the ends there and I really like the way that looks so I'm going to go ahead and tack that down and I love paper, using papers like this for a background because the lines really help you get make sure that you have everything straight and you can also write on the lines I didn't on this one but um, it's a nice thing to do so I really struggled with where I wanted to put my title I thought about wrapping it around the the circle. I thought about overlaying it onto my photos. Um, I thought about placing them right there where I'm doing it now. And I'm just going to go back and forth a few times. So I, now I'm leaning or looking at all of these stickers that I pulled. And I thought that these little scalloped pieces would be cute to put on around the circle. And they are from the sticker book, the Paige Evans sticker book from American Crafts. And so they're really thin and they're easy to bend uh, into this shape. They're a little bit, maybe you'll see it in the close-up photos, but they're a little bit like folded and overlapped, but it, it ends up looking just fine. And so I really liked that. So now I'm pulling out some of these flowers. Again, these are from the uh, sticker book and I'm just trying to decide where I want to place these. So they're kind of feeling like I kind of want to cluster them like that, but I'm not finding a spot where I really like it. And so I'm going to move those around quite a bit. And as I mentioned, I had a really hard time deciding where to put my title. And then I thought maybe I should move this yellow scallop. Um, and so I moved it right next to that purpley pink one. And now I'm thinking, do I want to put my title there so I cover up the rest of the outside of that circle or should I put the flowers in a row right there um, for now the flowers are going to sit there and I will end up switching it around again <laughs> so I I don't know about you but I like the playing the trying to figure it out the puzzle of finding out how everything fits together uh, that's a really enjoyable part of the process for me and so um I mean Sometimes something comes together super easily, but it doesn't bother me if it doesn't because it's just like a little challenge and I like that. So I just cut up a journaling uh, spot from the, I think it's from the journal or from the turn the page collection and I placed it behind or yeah, to the left of that, that pattern paper with the aqua on it and it mimics that color um, and it, I like the way that looks so I'm creating a little bit of a layer there and now I'm creating layers behind my photos as well and just trying to bring in all of those colors that are elsewhere on the layout so I'm just going to start gluing them behind my photos and this top photo with the rocks by themselves I'm going to create a layer just kind of around the top right hand side of that photo and then on the bottom photo I will create some layers um, on the left hand side so it kind of it's almost like photo corners where I'm putting one in one corner and one in the other corner um, but not quite <laughs> so uh, here I'm just still playing around with what I want my layers to look like and I felt like that needed a little something more so I'm just kind of going through my stuff and figuring it out I need more of that purpley pink color I felt like and so I just used a piece of that strip that I cut off earlier and I'm going to put it behind the left hand side of that bottom photo and just I'm putting the adhesive on the papers I'm gluing instead of on the back of the photo because it's easier to um, know that you have the right amount of adhesive I don't want to put extra adhesive on there so I'm using this long tag and it's going to be the bottom part of my little photo uh, mat on the left hand side of this this picture here and now I'm putting a little bit of adhesive on either one of the photos I put it in the center and then I'm holding them down 
so I can see how they fit together before I glue anything and then I push them down to the page. And now once I have this going on, it kind of makes sense for me to put the flowers in the corners and let the flowers be embellished that way. So I'll have three areas of embellishment that draw your eye around the photos and they're grounded by those flowers. So I'm still trying to put that title onto the side of my circle. And for some reason, it just looks off to me. So again, I will change my mind, but I'm going to keep going back and forth. And this cute little chipboard bird I wanted to use so bad. And I took him on and off and on and off the layout and he doesn't make it either. So he needs to go on another layout because I really love that die cut or that sticker, chipboard sticker. So I decide finally, I'm committing to this, to put my title on that uh, aqua area and I'm just, I'm kind of centering the letters uh, with the word heart. That's going to create an issue for me because the word rocks is smaller than the word heart and it feels like it's not balanced like it's the h is going to fall off the edge of the r there and so i'm trying to put some little hearts in those spaces to see if that will help me fill it up in a way that that looks good to me and then that bird is going to try to make it there as well so here i decide to put some more scallops on my around my little frame here but there weren't more in the booklet that were the pastel colors but there were lots of circles and hearts and so what I did was just I placed those and made them look like scallops uh, around the border of that of that uh, circle and so one of the reasons I really love those little sticker books is that there are tons and tons of stickers in there. Like this is going to last me a long time and I'm using a ton of stickers on one page and it's totally fine because I still have a ton left. So I really like that. I'm trying to make that, that butterfly work too. I really like the colors of it, but I don't think it makes it. Uh, and I'm using some little tiny sticker flowers to go along with my other, um, my other flowers, the larger ones there. And I just kind of lightly placed those down so I could move them if I wanted to. And then I'm adding just a little bit into the cluster. So I added uh, a like little ticket kind of shape. And um, I'm adding, again, the florals and different things. And now I'm also adding some more to the scallops. Now these don't look perfect and I'm totally okay with that. They don't need to all be completely uniform. I'm just looking for that kind of pop of color. And I actually really like the way that it's not all one color around the edge. I like that there's a bunch of different colors. Just kind of fun um, and whimsical. I don't tend towards... Uh, pastel layouts. I do love these soft colors, but usually I pair it with a pop of something bright. And I actually love how calming and just kind of soft and pretty that, that this layout turns out without adding those really bright pops. Now it does have that little bit of a brighter pop of that uh, kind of coral color, but it's, it's nothing to what I usually do. So I'm just placing a little bit of that um, you can see the numbers on the side of that little tiny white paper I placed to the left of my title and that was from the calendar paper from the 6x6 paper pad for Confetti Wishes and I just wanted to bring in that little bit of it's kind of that purpley pink color so here's the bird back again trying to make it onto the layout poor thing and I am layering up a few extra flowers and I'm going to pop some of them up as well so I'm just using some thin foam tabs here to do that and I like the way that looks so I decide to end up popping up all of those flower pieces and I like when I have the same embellishment and I use it in the same way so I've got all of the flowers popped up um, or sometimes I like to do it to where there's like a chipboard piece in each cluster or something like that. So, or all of one color is popped up or anything like that. I just feel like it makes it feel cohesive and like it belongs there or something like that. So um, I'm also going to pop up this little word sticker that says wonderful. And I believe that is from the new pick me up collection. Uh, so now I'm just, again, trying to figure out if I want to add any more layers on this. It 
it feels good, but a little bit empty. I'm thinking about the journaling now and wondering if I can use that little square for the journaling, but it doesn't just quite work out. Um, and you can see at the top, I've added a sticker that says love this. And I will end up adding a little bit more to that in a little while uh, because this photo is, is kind of bottom heavy. I'm just gonna add a little bit of something at the top to even it out. Uh, that little chipboard heart I was playing with is from the Confetti Wishes card collection, and I really like it. Okay, so I decide to add a staple to that little sticker label at the top, and I love how that sticker, it looks like it's supposed to wrap around something, so I put this staple in the center where the edges come in a little, and I really like that. So here I am trying again to decide if I should move my title and I forgot that I had glued those chipboard letter stickers or those yeah chipboard letters down with scotch quick dry adhesive so they are not going to move <laughs> and that word heart came from the oh what's it called it was a girl collection that had rainbows and unicorns and stuff in it I can't remember all of a sudden but I'll have it linked in the video description <laughs> um, and so I end up adding it back to where it was but I'm gonna move the letters around a little bit and I'm thinking about the date now so I stamp it uh, on the little label that's above the top photo and I decided so I used some close to my heart whisper ink which is a nice soft gray and I decided I needed that gray in a couple other spots so I'm looking for a phrase that I can stamp and I'm going to go ahead and stamp one below that there'll be one in each of the photo clusters basically. So I think that one says love this. And then this one says something else. I can't remember. Love it? No, oh, it's XOXO. And so there's just three areas where that gray ink is stamped. So I'm gonna play around with these hearts again and I want to have at least three hearts around my photo. And so I'm gonna play around with uh, figuring out where I can get the other hearts from. And I just, I want to make sure that I keep in the color family that I've got going on here. And so a lot of the hearts in the sticker book are brighter. And so I don't want to use those ones. Um, so just kind of going to play around with those hearts. Like I said, I, I kind of had a little bit of indecision going on here. So I, I thought about handwriting my journaling on on that little banner strip that I created, but I decided instead to type it up because I want that little pop of white in there because I've got some white above my top photo and I just felt like it needed a little pop of that white. So I typed that on my We Are Memory Keepers typecast print or typewriter and now I'm just going to kind of, uh, I'm trimming off the edges and then arranging them. And as I mentioned before, my journaling just talks about how um, well, we were at Bear Lake for my husband's birthday, and uh, while we were at the beach, uh, there were rocks everywhere, and we were, me and my daughter were trying to find all the heart-shaped rocks, and then I, I talked about that thing I said before, too, about how they're not perfect, but neither are, are our hearts, and uh, that doesn't make them less beautiful, so um, our hearts rock, guys. Don't forget it. Okay, so I'm just <laughs> finishing gluing these down with the Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive in the Fine Line Bottle. And then that doesn't go all the way to the bottom, so I decide to add a sticker. And I like the way that that kind of finishes that area off. So now I'm thinking about the top and how it needs something more than just that Love This sticker. And I stapled it down and I wished I hadn't because I thought maybe I wanted to move it around. But I can't now because it's stapled and those stickers are pretty thin so it will just rip apart. So I'm going to work around it and I'm just going to search for some stuff uh, in the sticker book and on the other stickers that I pulled. Uh, I have this little, it's like a flower little journaling spot. It's a scalped scalp circle basically that's yellow. It flipped up so you can't see it right now but it will go into that cluster. And so now I'm just looking for other things that I can add to it. and. I'm getting pretty close to being done here, but again, it's just my moments of indecision that kind of prolong the process. And again, it doesn't bother me to to keep searching. That's fun for me. That's part of my process. So um, I'm totally fine with that. So I didn't end up using that sticker that I just put on there. Just didn't quite feel right. I felt like too, I needed something long to go under the words love this. And so I'm just gonna play around for a bit trying to decide how I am going to create this. So I moved the little 
yellow scalloped circle to the top and then I added some uh, like a little row of hearts to the left and that's making this start to feel a little more substantial. I moved the scallop circle to fit into that little corner where the, the heart strip and the love this meet and now I'm trying to figure out what I can put on top of that circle to kind of finish this cluster off. So I'm just again looking through all my stickers and rub-ons and die cuts, all of, all of the things, and trying to decide what is it going to be that's going to make this. So I finally ended up looking through some older die cuts that I have from Pink Paisley, and I found this word, uh, and it's from the Moonstruck collection. Is that one? <laughs> I think so. I'll link to it again if I can find it. Um, and it just says beautiful and it worked perfectly because I have a little bit of gold foiling down in the bottom part of the layout on the little word sticker that says wonderful and also in between the stripes on that little banner shape and so it was nice to bring a little bit of that up to the top. I'm also going to bring the staples uh, down to the bottom so I I ran out of staples, so I'm just grabbing some more. I keep gold staples in my gold stapler here, and I just wanted to add a few more staples onto the layout, and then I am going to add some gold Heidi Swap Color Shine to kind of finish it all up, and I think that helps bring it together. Now this feels very simple to me, uh, but not too simple. I think it feels well balanced and I'm happy with the way it turned out. So if you haven't tried pastels lately, I definitely encourage you to give it a try. It's nice to have that soft feeling and those pretty colors and um, especially with spring around this time, it's just fun uh, and I had a lot of fun doing it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed. You can head over to the Pink Paisley blog to see these photos and more information. I'll leave a link in the video description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again very soon.